Hello everyone and welcome to The Box Desire. Today I'm going to show you 10 hidden features for iOS that will help you get the most out of your iPhone. These are the top 10 iOS tips and tricks for advanced users. Number 1 is Guided Access. This feature keeps your iPhone locked in a single app by triple clicking the home button. Once activated, it doesn't matter how many times you press the home button, you cannot access any other app unless you triple click and enter the set password. This is very useful if you lend your phone to a friend or family member. They can use one single app and you don't have to worry about them messing with your phone. To enable it, go into Settings, then to General, Accessibility, and then scroll down until you see the Guided Access option. Turn it on and be sure to enter a password so that only you can turn it off. This will allow you to lock onto a single app and now you don't have to worry when your little cousin or mom wants to borrow your phone. Number 2 is the use of Force Touch with the keyboard. If you've used an iPhone for a while, then you know how annoying it is to adjust the cursor. It's usually inaccurate because the letters are too small and you end up selecting something you don't want to. Well now you can use Force Touch to move exactly where you want. Just press slightly harder on the keyboard and glide through a lot quicker. And this works with all the latest iPhones, so from the iPhone 6s and every model that has released after it. It just makes it much easier to navigate because your finger doesn't get in the way. Number 3 is the Japanese text emoji. This is a very cool collection of text-based emoji that can be accessed within the Japanese keyboard. To activate it, go to the Settings app, go to General, scroll down to the Keyboard option, Keyboards, and then select Add New Keyboard. Select Japanese, and then Kana. To use it, long press the globe icon and select the Edit Keyboard. Click the face icon, and now you can choose from hundreds of options that will bring your texting game to the next level. For number 4, I'm going to show you how to reduce the animations on your iPhone. Every time you enter or exit an app, there's a very long transition that takes place. As you can see, there's this zoom in and zoom out movement that occurs every time. You can eliminate this by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, and then Reduce Motion. Turn it on, and now you'll see how every time you exit an app, it is a much quicker fade out transition. Which makes for a better experience if you don't like the original transitions, it just seems a bit faster. And here's a side by side comparison. The left has the old zoom in and zoom out transitions and the right has the alternative fade out animations. Number 5 is the use of force touch to reply to messages. Surprisingly a lot of people don't know about this one, but you can press harder on the screen to reply to a message within an app. So you no longer have to exit the app you're in to reply. You can do it right there when the notification appears. And this also applies to the home screen. You can use Force Touch to reply without having to unlock your device. So use Force Touch if you want to be more efficient with messages. The number 6 tip is the use of notification center widgets. These are simple interfaces from apps on your device that can be accessed from the notification center. Simply swipe to the right from your home screen or you can also pull it down from the top of the screen and swipe to the right. To activate widgets, go to the bottom and tap on edit. Then you can add the widgets available from your apps. My favorites are the weather stats, the ESPN widget, which shows you the latest scores in upcoming matches, snap stats, which shows important information of your device, like how much data you've used, how much storage is available, and even how the RAM is being utilized. I also like the calculator because it lets you do some calculations without having to open the app or without having to unlock your phone. And finally, the Amazon widget, which shows the status of your orders. Now remember that these widgets will only become available once you install the apps, so be sure to download the apps for each of these if you want the widgets to appear in the notification center. So Snapstats app for the phone statistic, widgets for the calculator, and so forth. The number 7 trick is to save your fingerprint twice to increase the success rate of Touch ID. So go to Touch ID and Passcode and register the same finger two times and this will improve the accuracy of every scan. Now the fingerprint scanner works really well with the iPhone 7, so you probably don't need to do this if you have the latest iPhone model, but with older models it starts to get a bit slow when you use Touch ID and sometimes you have to scan more than once. So save the same finger twice and it should solve your unlocking frustrations. Number 8 is a very simple way to clear all your notifications in the notification center. Instead of deleting one by one, use Force Touch to open a clear all option. This makes clearing all your notifications much easier. It will save you a lot of time when you want to have a clean notification center. 
Oh yeah, and this tip also works with Safari, but instead of force touch, just long press on the tabs icon, and this should open an option to close all tabs with one click. So very simple tricks, but they are very useful. Number nine is prioritizing downloads. Sometimes you have to download or update a lot of apps, and you can't use any of them until they are fully loaded. But what if you want to use a specific app and your phone is updating the others first? Well, you can prioritize a download by using force touch on an app that is downloading or updating. Just press a bit harder on the app and select prioritize download to update it before the others. So it will download this one first and you don't have to wait for everything else to update. And this tip is also useful if you download an app by mistake, you can pause or cancel the download by using force touch. Finally at number 10 is how to mark up a photo. So this is for those of you who like to edit their images. In the photos app, hit the edit option, the three dot icon, and then the markup option. This will allow you to do all sorts of edits. You can draw, you can add text in different colors. You can also magnify a part of a photo by selecting the second option from left to right. This will appear a magnifying circle and you can make it big or small and zoom in or zoom out. And this is great if you want to highlight a specific part of a photo to point at someone in a big crowd or to emphasize a specific area. So that's photo markup for number 10. And so that is it for my top 10 tips and tricks. If any of these was useful or if you simply enjoyed the video, please be sure to like by hitting the thumbs up below. Also, please be sure to share this video with your friends and family so that they can learn to master their iPhone as well. Finally, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell button if you'd like to receive notifications when I upload new videos like these. Thanks for watching.